Did you know that the US government spends over $300 billion on construction each year? With that kind of investment, it's no surprise that the country is home to some of the world's most ambitious construction projects. From highways and bridges to airports and stadiums, these projects are transforming the way we live, work, and play. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of 15 of the biggest and most exciting mega construction projects in the USA. We'll explore the challenges and opportunities that these projects present, and we'll show you how they could shape the future of the country. So buckle up and get ready to be amazed by the sheer scale and ingenuity of these incredible projects. Fifteen, the Alaskan Wave Viaduct Replacement Tunnel. The Alaskan Wave Viaduct Replacement Tunnel, also known as the SR99 Tunnel, is a highway tunnel in Seattle, Washington, that replaced the Alaskan Wave Viaduct, a double-decker elevated freeway that was built in the 1950s. The viaduct was damaged in the 2001 Nisqually earthquake and was deemed unsafe for use. The decision to replace the viaduct with a tunnel was made in 2009, and construction began in 2013. The tunnel is two miles long and has two lanes in each direction. It was designed to improve traffic flow through Seattle's downtown area and improve safety by eliminating the risk of collapse in the event of an earthquake. The tunnel was also built to improve access to the waterfront area and provide a more attractive view for pedestrians and cyclists. The construction of the tunnel was a complex and challenging project, involving the use of a massive tunnel boring machine named Bertha, which was the world's largest at the time. The project encountered several setbacks, including a two-year delay caused by a breakdown of the tunnel boring machine, which required a lengthy repair process. The tunnel was finally opened to traffic in February 2019, and the Alaskan Way Viaduct was subsequently demolished. 14. The San Francisco Transbay Transit Center The San Francisco Transbay Transit Center, also known as the Salesforce Transit Center, is a multimodal transit hub in downtown San Francisco, California. The transit center was designed to replace the outdated Transbay Terminal, which was built in the 1930s and served as the primary transportation hub for the city. The new transit center opened in August 2018 after nearly a decade of planning and construction. The center includes a five-story bus terminal with 22 bus bays that serve regional and intercity buses, as well as a train station for the future California high-speed rail system, which will connect San Francisco to Los Angeles. Additionally, the center includes a rooftop park and a retail and office space, including the Salesforce Tower, which is the tallest building in San Francisco. The transit center was designed to be a modern and efficient transportation hub that would ease congestion and improve connectivity in the city. The center includes advanced technology and sustainability features, including a green roof that helps to regulate the building's temperature and a rainwater collection system that reduces the center's water usage. However, shortly after its opening, the transit center was temporarily closed due to the discovery of cracks in two steel beams that support the rooftop park. The closure lasted for several months while engineers worked to fix the problem. The transit center reopened in July 2019, and since then, it has operated smoothly, serving as a critical transportation hub for the city. 13. The Purple Line Extension The Purple Line Extension is a project to extend the Los Angeles Metro Purple Line subway from its current terminus in the Mid-Wilshire District to the Westwood and Beverly Hills areas. The extension project is being built in three phases, with the first phase extending the line from the current Wilshire Western Station to the new Wilshire Left Sandiga Station, and the second and third phases extending the line to the Beverly Hills and Westwood areas. The Purple Line extension is a critical transportation project for the Los Angeles region, as it will provide a fast and reliable transit option for commuters and residents traveling between the west side and downtown Los Angeles. The project is also expected to reduce traffic congestion and improve air quality by encouraging the use of public transportation. The first phase of the project began construction in 2014 and is expected to be completed in 2023. The second and third phases are still in the planning stages, with construction expected to begin in the coming years. 
The extension will add nearly nine miles of new subway track and seven new stations to the existing metro system. The project has faced some challenges and controversies, including concerns over environmental impacts and the potential displacement of residents and businesses along the route. However, the project has also received significant support from community groups, transportation advocates, and local officials, who recognize the importance of expanding the metro system to meet the growing transportation needs of the region. 12. The Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority Green Line Extension the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority Green Line Extension is a project to extend the MBTA Green Line light rail system from its current terminus in Cambridge to Somerville and Medford, Massachusetts. The extension will add approximately 4.7 miles of new track and seven new stations to the existing Green Line system, providing improved transit options for residents of these communities and reducing traffic congestion in the region. The project has been in the planning stages for many years and has faced numerous delays and setbacks due to funding issues, design complications, and legal challenges. However, construction finally began in 2018, and the extension is expected to be completed in 2022. The Green Line extension is a critical transportation project for the Boston metropolitan area, as it will provide a faster and more reliable transit option for commuters and residents traveling between these communities and downtown Boston. The project is also expected to stimulate economic development and improve access to job opportunities for residents of the area. In addition to the new track and stations, the project includes a number of sustainability features, including the use of energy-efficient lighting and ventilation systems, the installation of solar panels, and the incorporation of stormwater management and green infrastructure elements. 11. The Los Angeles International Airport Expansion The Los Angeles International Airport commonly known as LAX Expansion, is a multi-billion dollar project aimed at modernizing and upgrading the airport's facilities to meet the growing demand for air travel and provide an improved experience for passengers. The project is one of the largest public works projects in the history of Los Angeles and is expected to be completed in multiple phases over several years. The LAX expansion project includes several major components, including the construction of a new midfield satellite concourse, which will add 12 new gates and improve the airport's capacity to handle more flights and passengers. The project also includes the renovation and expansion of existing terminals, the construction of a new automated people mover system that will connect the airport's terminals with nearby public transportation, and improvements to the airport's roadways and parking facilities. One of the key goals of the LAX expansion project is to improve the overall passenger experience at the airport by providing modern, efficient facilities and amenities. The project includes the installation of new technology and infrastructure to streamline the check-in and security processes, as well as the addition of new retail, dining, and lounge options for passengers. The LAX expansion project is also focused on sustainability with a goal of reducing the airport's carbon footprint and achieving LEED decertification for all new buildings. The project includes the installation of solar panels, the use of energy-efficient lighting and EFAC systems, and the implementation of water conservation measures. 10. The Tappan Z Bridge Replacement the Tappan Zee Bridge replacement is a major infrastructure project to replace the Tappan Zee Bridge, which spans the Hudson River in New York and connects Westchester and Rockland counties. The original Tappan Zee Bridge was built in the 1950s and had become outdated and structurally deficient, so it was deemed necessary to replace it with a new, modern bridge. Construction of the new Tappan Zee Bridge, officially called the Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge, began in 2013 and was completed in 2018. The new bridge is a twin-span cable-stayed bridge that is designed to be more resilient and withstand extreme weather conditions, such as hurricanes and earthquakes. The new bridge also includes wider lanes, a bike and pedestrian path, and improved safety features, such as a state-of-the-art traffic management system and a dedicated response team for emergencies. 
The Tappan Zee Bridge Replacement Project was a significant undertaking, with a total cost of approximately $4 billion. The project was funded through a combination of federal loans, state bonds, and toll revenue from the bridge. The new bridge has been well received by the community and has improved transportation options for commuters and travelers in the region. The wider lanes and improved safety features have helped to reduce traffic congestion and improve overall safety on the bridge. The bike and pedestrian path has also provided a new recreational option for residents and visitors, with stunning views of the Hudson River. 9. The Gordie Howe International Bridge The Gordie Howe International Bridge is a project to construct a new bridge over the Detroit River connecting Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and Detroit, Michigan, USA. The new bridge will be a cable-stayed bridge, with six lanes of traffic, bike lanes, and pedestrian walkways. The project is named after Canadian hockey player Gordie Howe, who played for the Detroit Red Wings and is considered a legend in both countries. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project has been in the planning stages for many years and is expected to be completed in 2024. The bridge is being built to provide a new, modern transportation option for travelers and freight between the two countries, as the existing Ambassador Bridge, which opened in 1929, is outdated and has become congested with traffic. The construction of the Gordie Howe International Bridge is a complex and challenging project, as it involves building a new bridge, as well as new customs and toll plazas on both sides of the border. The project has required extensive coordination between the Canadian and U.S. governments, as well as with state and local agencies and private contractors. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project is expected to have significant economic benefits for both countries, including increased trade and investment, job creation, and improved transportation infrastructure. The project is also expected to have environmental benefits, as it will reduce traffic congestion and improve air quality in the region. 8. The Second Avenue Subway The Second Avenue Subway is a major infrastructure project in New York City that involves the construction of a new subway line on Manhattan's east side. The project is intended to relieve overcrowding on existing subway lines, improve transportation options for residents and visitors, and stimulate economic development in the area. The Second Avenue subway project has been in the planning stages for many years and was first proposed in the 1920s. Construction finally began in 2007, and the first phase of the project, which includes three new stations and 1.8 miles of new track, opened to the public in January 2017. The second phase of the project, which will extend the line to East Harlem and add three additional stations, is currently in the planning stages. The new subway line is designed to be modern and efficient, with new stations featuring advanced technology, improved accessibility for disabled passengers, and enhanced safety features. The project also includes the installation of new signaling and communication systems, which will improve train frequency and reduce delays. The Second Avenue Subway project is a significant undertaking, with a total cost of approximately $4.5 billion for the first phase alone. The project has been funded through a combination of federal, state, and local funds, as well as private sector contributions. The Second Avenue Subway project is expected to provide significant benefits to the community and the city as a whole, including improved transportation options, reduced traffic congestion, and increased economic development. The project is also expected to have environmental benefits, as it will encourage the use of public transportation and reduce greenhouse gas emissions from cars and trucks. 7. The West Side Subway Extension The West Side Subway Extension is a project to extend the Los Angeles Metro Purple Line subway from its current terminus in the Mid-Wilshire District to the Westwood area of Los Angeles. The project involves the construction of 2.6 miles of new subway track and two new stations, and it is intended to provide a fast and reliable transit option for commuters and residents traveling between the West Side and downtown Los Angeles. The West Side Subway Extension Project has been in the planning stages for many years and was approved by voters in 2008 as part of the Measure R Transportation Sales Tax Initiative. 
Construction began in 2014, and the first phase of the project, which includes the addition of three new stations, is expected to be completed in 2023. The second phase of the project, which will extend the line to the Veterans Affairs Hospital in Westwood, is still in the planning stages. The new subway line is designed to be modern and efficient, with state-of-the-art technology and safety features, including an advanced signaling system that will improve train frequency and reduce delays. The project also includes the installation of new bike and pedestrian paths, as well as improved bus connections to provide better connectivity for residents and visitors. The West Side Subway Extension Project is a significant infrastructure project with a total cost of approximately $6.3 billion for both phases of the project. The project has been funded through a combination of federal, state, and local funds, as well as private sector contributions. The West Side Subway Extension Project is expected to provide significant benefits to the community and the city as a whole, including improved transportation options, reduced traffic congestion, and increased economic development. The project is also expected to have environmental benefits, as it will encourage the use of public transportation and reduce greenhouse gas emissions from cars and trucks. 6. The Las Vegas Stadium The Las Vegas Stadium, officially known as Allegiant Stadium, is a state-of-the-art, multi-purpose stadium located in Paradise, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. The stadium is the home of the Las Vegas Raiders of the National Football League (NFL) and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, UNLV Rebels college football team. The Las Vegas Stadium project began in 2017 and was completed in 2020, with a total cost of approximately $1.9 billion. The stadium features a unique, futuristic design, with a silver and black exterior and a retractable field that allows for a variety of events to take place, including football, soccer, concerts, and other entertainment events. The stadium is equipped with state-of-the-art technology and amenities, including a massive high-definition video screen, premium seating options, and a variety of dining and entertainment options. The stadium also features a number of sustainability features, including a solar power system and a system for capturing and reusing rainwater. The construction of the Las Vegas Stadium was a significant undertaking, involving the demolition of the former site of the Las Vegas Convention Center and the construction of a new transportation hub to provide improved access to the stadium. The Las Vegas Stadium is expected to have a significant economic impact on the surrounding area, including creating jobs, attracting visitors to the region, and stimulating economic development. The stadium is also expected to help bolster Las Vegas' reputation as a top destination for sports and entertainment. 5. The Central Park Tower The Central Park Tower is a super-tall skyscraper located in New York City. Currently, it is the tallest residential building in the world, standing at 1,550 feet tall and 131 stories high. The tower is located on West 57th Street, just south of Central Park, and offers stunning views of the park and the city skyline. Construction of the Central Park Tower began in 2014 and was completed in 2019. The tower features luxury residential units, including apartments and penthouses, as well as retail and commercial space on the lower floors. The tower is equipped with state-of-the-art technology and amenities, including a fitness center, swimming pool, and a private club for residents. The Central Park Tower is an impressive engineering and architectural feat, with a unique tapered design that maximizes views and minimizes wind resistance. The tower's facade is made up of glass and satin-finished stainless steel panels, giving it a sleek and modern appearance. The Central Park Tower is expected to have a significant impact on the surrounding area, including creating jobs, attracting investment and tourism, and stimulating economic development. The tower is also expected to help solidify New York City's reputation as a global center for luxury real estate and a hub for high-end residential living. 4. The Wilshire Grand Center the Wilshire Grand Center is a skyscraper located in downtown Los Angeles, California, 
The tower stands at 1,100 feet tall and has 73 floors, making it the tallest building in Los Angeles and the tallest building west of the Mississippi River. The tower is a mixed-use development, featuring office space, hotel rooms, restaurants, and observation decks. Construction of the Wilshire Grand Center began in 2014 and was completed in 2017, with a total cost of approximately $1.2 billion. The tower is equipped with state-of-the-art technology and amenities, including high-speed elevators, a rooftop swimming pool, and a helipad, making it a premier destination for business and leisure travelers alike. The Wilshire Grand Center is an impressive engineering and architectural achievement, featuring a unique tapered design and a distinctive glass exterior. The tower's facade is illuminated with colored LED lights at night, creating a stunning visual display that can be seen from miles away. The Wilshire Grand Center is expected to have a significant impact on the surrounding area, including creating jobs, attracting investment and tourism, and stimulating economic development. The tower is also expected to help solidify Los Angeles' reputation as a global center for business and commerce, as well as a hub for luxury hospitality and entertainment. 3. One Vanderbilt One Vanderbilt is a skyscraper located in Midtown Manhattan in New York City. The tower stands at 1,401 feet tall and has 67 floors, making it one of the tallest buildings in New York City and the United States. The tower is a mixed-use development, featuring office space, retail space, and a public observation deck. Construction of One Vanderbilt began in 2016 and was completed in 2020, with a total cost of approximately $3.3 billion. The tower is equipped with state-of-the-art technology and amenities, including high-speed elevators, a fitness center, and a public plaza that connects to Grand Central Terminal. One Vanderbilt is an impressive engineering and architectural achievement, featuring a unique tapered design and a distinctive glass exterior that provides stunning views of the city's skyline. The tower's observation deck, known as the Summit, offers 360-degree views of Manhattan and is a popular attraction for tourists and residents alike. One Vanderbilt is expected to have a significant impact on the surrounding area, including creating jobs, attracting investment and tourism, and stimulating economic development. The tower is also expected to help solidify New York City's reputation as a global center for business and commerce, as well as a hub for luxury retail and dining. 2. Hudson Yards Hudson Yards is a large-scale real estate development project located on the west side of Manhattan in New York City. The project spans 28 acres and includes a mix of office, residential, retail, and public space, including parks and cultural venues. Hudson Yards is one of the largest private real estate developments in the United States, with a total cost of approximately $25 billion. Construction of Hudson Yards began in 2012 and was completed in 2019. The project features several notable buildings, including the Vessel, a 16-story interactive sculpture, and the Shed, a cultural center that hosts a variety of events and performances. The centerpiece of Hudson Yards is 30 Hudson Yards, a 1,296-foot-tall skyscraper that houses offices, restaurants, and a public observation deck. Hudson Yards is an impressive engineering and architectural achievement, featuring a unique mix of modern and traditional design elements. The development includes several sustainability features, such as a cogeneration plant that provides electricity and heat to the entire complex, as well as green roofs and rainwater collection systems. Hudson Yards is expected to have a significant impact on the surrounding area, including creating jobs, attracting investment and tourism, and stimulating economic development. The development is also expected to help solidify New York City's reputation as a global center for business and commerce, as well as a hub for luxury retail and dining. California High Speed Rail California High Speed Rail is a planned high-speed rail system in the state of California that will connect major metropolitan areas in the state.
The project aims to provide a fast, reliable, and sustainable mode of transportation for commuters and travelers, while also reducing traffic congestion and greenhouse gas emissions. The California High Speed Rail project has been in the planning stages for many years and was approved by voters in 2008 as part of the Proposition 1, a bond measure. Construction began in 2015, and the project is expected to be completed in phases over the coming years. The high-speed rail system will ultimately connect San Francisco to Los Angeles and Anaheim, with additional stops in cities such as San Jose, Fresno, and Bakersfield. The system will be capable of traveling at speeds up to 220 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest and most advanced rail systems in the world. The project has been funded through a combination of federal, state, and private sector funds. The California High Speed Rail project is expected to have significant economic and environmental benefits for the state, including creating jobs, stimulating economic development, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions from cars and trucks. The system is also expected to provide improved connectivity and access to major metropolitan areas, as well as better transportation options for commuters and travelers. In conclusion, these 15 mega construction projects in the USA represent some of the most impressive engineering and architectural feats of our time. From bridges to stadiums, skyscrapers to high-speed rail systems, these infrastructure projects demonstrate the importance of investing in modern and efficient transportation, real estate, and public work systems to support economic growth and improve quality of life for residents and visitors alike. While these projects have come with significant costs and challenges, they also offer significant benefits to the communities they serve. These benefits include job creation, increased tourism, improved transportation options, and enhanced cultural and recreational opportunities. As we look to the future, it is clear that investing in infrastructure will be critical to meeting the evolving needs of our cities and communities. By continuing to invest in innovative and sustainable infrastructure projects, we can improve our quality of life, support economic growth, and build a better future for generations to come. As always, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, and also to subscribe as well, so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.